Hey guys, today we're driving the 2022 Subaru WRX Premium. We have a six-speed manual transmission, all-wheel drive, and a new 2.4 liter turbocharged boxer four-cylinder that makes 271 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. I did a brief track drive in this WRX around Road America. It was in the wet, it was pretty nasty out, but I was really impressed with this car on first impressions. Uh, gone is the rev hang. We have a lot more torque. We have a much better tune to the engine and drivetrain in this new WRX. Shifts are quicker. This gearbox still feels really good. Honestly, from the driver's seat, it just feels like a much better previous gen WRX. They fixed a lot of the issues that I had with that car. Let's walk you around this real quick. We'll show you what it looks like inside and out, and then we'll take it for a drive and get some impressions of what this is like on the road. So, this premium starts around $32,000. Pretty neat package, reasonably priced, very spacious, quite practical and usable as your only vehicle. It can rally, it can do track work, it's comfortable as a daily driver. Super wide opening, 60-40 folding rear seats. No spare tire, but you know what? I bet you could retrofit one in here from a previous gen WRX like you can with the BRZ. You just get rid of all this foam stuff. You already get a jack and tire iron and all that stuff in there too. So you might be ready to go with just a little bit of creativity. Quad exhaust tips. A little bit of a throatier, lower guttural sound from this boxer four cylinder. It's still pretty quiet. Definitely could use an exhaust, but we can leave that to the aftermarket. I do like the looks of the front end though. Looks a little bit like the Lavorg Subarus that we see out in Japan. I like it. Honestly, you get behind the wheel of one of these, you drive it, and all the all the chatter about the plastic fender cladding kind of vanishes because this thing is so good to drive. Kind of second guessing my BRZ purchase, honestly, after spending some time out on track with this. Top mounted intercooler. We have an oil cooler right here. Gets about 22 miles to the gallon combined. Not the most efficient car, but we get hood struts and just a, a nice Subaru boxer motor. Looks like an engine, relatively easy to work on. Got a functional hood scoop here. A lot to like. Let's take a look in the back seat and then we'll go head out on the road with this. One thing I've always been really impressed with is just how spacious the rear seat area is in the WRXs. There really is a lot of room back here. It's pretty amazing. We get a couple USB ports, a center armrest. I like these cloth seats too. They feel nice and rugged. You've got red stitching everywhere. And even though this is just the premium, you still get a decent amount of features. Auto up down windows in all four corners. You get heated seats no eyesight systems, which I think is fine. For a driver's car, for the manual, that's a pretty good way to go. Honestly, if you're considering a CVT WRX, I would even look at something like the Outback or Forester Wilderness. Similar powertrain, similar levels of power, but more ground clearance and more off-road capability. So yes, Subaru has gotten rid of the STI in its latest generation for now. But honestly, I think this WRX with this new updated 2.4 liter turbo is about 90 to 95% of what an STI could be. 271 horsepower goes pretty far in this car. The tuning is excellent. Yes, we don't get the trick differentials that we can control with the STI or the stiffer chassis or the trick suspension, but I don't know, for most people's use, I think this is really good value. Uh, an STI would be significantly more expensive. And at this point, the performance from this WRX is so good that I really think you'd be getting into diminishing returns with an STI. So that's kind of my thoughts. I'm sure they'll come out with an electric or plug-in hybrid or something, some type of STI in the future. But for now, this WRX, I think, will satisfy most people. I'm excited to drive this out on the street. It's one thing when you're just hammering around on track get a decent idea of what a car's like at the limit, but on street there are some other nuances that we can learn. Clutch is light, shifter is light. I like the driving position. We have a lot of adjustability with these seats, all manually operated. Same with the steering wheel. Clutch 
clutch is very easy to operate. Nice engagement and bite point. We have a dual pinion power steering rack in this WRX. Makes for really sharp turn in and a lot of response from the steering system. Brakes are still warming up. They're pretty wet still after uh, sitting in the rain for a long time. Still a little bit of turbo lag from this engine, but I will say there's a lot more drivability to this 2.4 liter than there was in the previous two liter boxer. This interior still feels pretty bargain basement. A lot of plastics, a lot of hard surfaces, but at the end of the day, for the price, I can't really complain. There's so much value here with this powertrain, and this is just a driver's car when it comes down to it. It feels wonderfully agile. Kind of light to the touch, which I appreciate. Honestly, I'm not the biggest fan of this infotainment, but it works, you do get used to it. Look at those shifts. Zero rev hang at redline between gears. Those RPMs drop immediately. A lot of throttle response here too, especially for a turbocharged motor. Yeah, I like the six speed. It's a little bit lighter of a throw. Still about the same feel as previous WRXs, maybe a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper. Allows for pretty quick shifts. It's a very satisfying manual transmission to drive. Just down to the responsiveness of all of your inputs. I like that a lot. It's quiet, but the noise that it does make, I think is a good one. There's not the same droniness to this exhaust that there has been in previous WRXs that I've tested. It rides on the firm side, not, as, not even as soft as my BRZ is. I swear my BRZ rides like a Camry on those 17 inch wheels. And this is a little bit more buttoned down, a little bit stiffer, which I think is fine. It's still very livable. We do have some physical controls in this WRX center stack, which I appreciate. We get a volume and tune scroll knob, physical buttons for temperature. There is a constant climate menu down here at the bottom of the screen that will always be up. And we get a mechanical handbrake. So you can do rally turns in your WRX. I love it. <laughs> I like the sound it makes. It's subtle, but it makes Subaru boxer engine noises, which is ultimately what we want. You could throw an exhaust on here, make it a little bit louder if you really wanted to, but in its current form, I don't know, this sounds pretty good. drive on a back road. Really the big win here with this new WRX is this 2.4 liter engine. There's more torque, more usable power throughout the power band. A little bit less turbo lag. a more satisfying experience. It's much more refined. I feel like Subaru retuned this whole engine, this whole powertrain, and it's one of the best tuned manual transmissions that I've ever driven some from Subaru.
just want to keep shifting this six-speed manual. This is genuinely fun. Controls are a little bit lighter. I'm not completely convinced on this shifter's action if it's better than the previous generation, but honestly, all WRX shifters have been a little bit rubbery. Just a ton of grip here, though. It's so easy to heel toe downshift and rev match. more fluid and natural manual driving experiences on the market these days. Really got to give Subaru props for the tuning here. They've done an excellent job with this new WRX. You guys can just tell by how much fun I'm having shifting this thing. spend some more time in one of these really see what this thing can do in the in the dry i bet there's a, just a ton of grip from this chassis and uh of course maybe next year maybe next winter we can get one of these on winter tires see how it does in the snow bit of a surprise. Got some pops and bangs there from the exhaust. <laughs> That's cool. Fun. Fun car. Boy, this would be a great daily driver. Okay, guys. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We'll be posting some more videos from this Midwest Automotive Media Association rally, but for now, that's a quick drive with some first impressions on the WRX. If you haven't already, check out the track drive in this. Um, combined with the street drive, I think we've got a pretty good first take on this and, and a good idea of how it drives. But yeah, I want, I want some more time behind the wheel. This is, this is an enjoyable one. So well done, Subaru. I think uh, they've got a good WRX on their hands this time. Curious to see what a CVT drives like, but honestly, this six-speed manual is so good. This is the way to go. All right, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys later. Take care.